Not because they just lied, but because they refused to accept the free gift of salvation. You see, when you die and go to hell, it's not it's not going to be God's fault because He offers you the gift of eternal life. Amen. The Bible says that Jesus died on that cross 2,000 years ago. The wages of sin is death, but the gift, the gift of God, is eternal life. Now, suppose I was going to give you a piece of fluorescent chalk. I said, here, it's a free gift. He said, yeah, but it's in the Bible. That's right. You take the Bible, get the chalk. The Bible says, the wages of sin is death. That's what I deserve. To go make a fire. But the gift of God is eternal life. Where is that eternal life? The gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ, our Lord. You see, when I accept Jesus, I get eternal life. And when you reject Jesus, you get eternal death. You get eternal death. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. The Bible says in all liars to be cast in the lake of fire. You see, everybody here tonight, this is what's going to happen. This is the program. This is why Iraq is in the news every day. Iran is in the news. Is you ever look at those things on the map? Why, man, you talk about a bunch of podunk, small, insignificant, unimportant countries. Iraq, well, there's a bunch of hillbillies. A bunch of hillbillies running around with towels wrapped around their head and got sits coming out of the rain. Amen. That's what I mean, really. A bunch of, you know, you know, Asian, you know, skulls, you know. <laughs> They're not very bright, okay? There's not much there, okay? There are not many people there. I can't remember. I think it's probably what the size of a, uh, it's smaller than one of the smaller states in the United States. And I'm saying it's not some gigantic place. Iraq, Iran, Israel. Why are they always there? in the newspaper, on the TV, every day, every day, every day. Because, folks, that's the program. You got it? 2,000 years ago, it said in the last day, that's going to be the focus. That's going to be the program. I'm glad at the age of 19, I said, buddy, I want to take it out of here. I ain't staying around here for the nuclear bombs, and I sure ain't going to stay here and watch this whole place go to smoke and burn in a lake of fire for all eternity. Do you know that hell, hell, the lake of fire, is an insane asylum for those who reject a free gift? of eternal life. It's irrational. It's irrational. Uh, the most reasonable thing you can do is accept Jesus Christ, your personal Savior. Amen. Let's pray. Every day bowed, every eye closed. Father, thank you now for your goodness. We thank you for this opportunity to open the Bible. Help us to understand these things. We look at these historic facts. World War I was prepared the land. World War II was prepared the people. And that verse was literally, literally, historically fulfilled. That's not anybody's opinion. That's not anybody's interpretation. That's a historic fact. In 1948, for the first time in the history of the world, this country, whatever been depossessed, went back to their homeland and set up the country just like it was. Lord, I pray there's somebody here tonight that's not saved. I realize the whole thing is about them getting saved and going to heaven and not end up in a lake of fire. With every head bowed, every eye closed, and the penis begins to place.